Hi, welcome to The Witch in the Woods. Um, so I've come out into the woods on a fairly windy day, so I don't know what the sound will be like. But something came up and I thought, I would like to talk to you about fairies. Um, and the question is, who are the fairies? And do we really know what fairies are? This is going to be difficult because my hand is in very, very, very... <sighs> That's it. I'm going to lean that on my knee. So. so, I tried to find a particularly um, magical spot and uh, I actually ended up coming to this lovely ash tree. And unfortunately, I got here and the traffic is quite noisy, so sorry if you can pick that up. Um, and I found my f three fairy feathers on the way, so I'll be wearing those with pride and um, probably not a lot of style while I make this. Anyway, so something happened to me um, the other day which prompted me, yesterday in fact, prompted me to want to talk about who the fae folk are, the fair folk. There's many names for them. Um, and the question really is, do we really know what fairies are? In fact, we shouldn't be calling them fairies. Um, there's so many superstitions. Will I be invoking a lot of bad luck if I mention them by name? Maybe I should be calling them the good neighbours. But who exactly are these invisible and magical beings? Well, the truth is, the word a fairy only really came into use around about the 16th century. Um, and before that we had different names for different kinds of spirits. We had elves and we had dwarves, we had landvitir, we had, um, you know, I'm not really sure to be honest. It seems to be quite late on that we began to call them fae and fairies and this is obviously influenced by Roman mythology and the idea of the fates um, and uh, yeah the the three goddesses but unfortunately that isn't that doesn't really cover everything to do with the fae um, so really our um, word fairy is such a late invention and it maybe masks and covers so many areas that it's become a bit wishy-washy. So I'd say we've really got to distinguish between whether we're talking about nature spirits or household spirits or whether we're talking about gods and goddesses. Um, in many ways the word fairy encompasses all this <coughs> I should have brought a drink. In many ways, the word fairy encompasses all this folklore, which is a little bit confusing to us, I think. So, we would call, the Irish would call their gods, their almighty supernatural beings, um, we call them fairies these days. We can also call the nature spirits, maybe even ghosts, we might call those fairies, spirit activity. We might call demons fairies, we might call angels fairies. Um, so, really, in our modern understanding, we kind of classify things into angel or demon or ghost. And this is really our understanding, quite limited, of what spirit is. And it comes from Christianity in many ways. And so maybe we call fairies that little bit of that equation that it's a bird <laughs> that we leave out, which are the nature spirits. Oh, I'm going to have to move my arm. There we go. So, so as I was saying, there's a vast scope of nature spirit to God encompassed in this word fairy and um, in 
many ways we see fairies as sort of diminutive little little beings with fairy wings cute little tinkerbells oh she's so cute look little twinky twinky fairy but um in many ways the i always say in many ways <laughs> but actually in older days the fairy was actually quite feared i mean they could come and bite you they could try and give you nightmares at night they could turn into nasty malevolent spirits banging in your home banging doors scaring you stealing things they were mischievous and trickstery um, and they could even be quite malevolent they could bite you um, they could attack you they could even steal you away into fairyland so well, our understanding of this word fairy is it's a kind of misguided notion these days. Um, and I wanted to tell you a wee story. I guess the, the idea is, can you ever say that you have seen a fairy? Have you any proof or evidence of this being called a fairy? Now, some people say they have. Some people they say they have seen the fairy. And I would not be one of them. I cannot honestly say that I have ever seen a fairy, as in with my physical eyes, I have seen a little thing stand under a mushroom or um, maybe live under my stairs. Maybe children do. Maybe children have seen them. Maybe they're a little bit more open. And this is my, my point with fae, is I think the way that you see Fay is with your what we call second sight, and those who had the second sight were quite open to being the healers and the cunning folk and the witches. And I guess it was this very psychic nature that sort of set them apart from the housewives and whoever, um, the cooks, the the maids i mean quite a lot of general people had superstition in the olden days and it's only in the last 200 years or so that we've invented a scientific culture which needs you know absolute proof um so whether you've seen fairy i don't know i haven't have you seen a fairy let me know in the comments all i can really do is believe my own intuition and senses when it comes to the subtle world of spirit beings. Um, but something happened yesterday that gave me more proof than I have really received in quite some time. And it was a little cosmic joke on me. And so I'm going to tell you the story of what happened was for quite some time my mother gave me the e these earrings I'm wearing here. Pretty little earring. She said she got quite a sentimental journey, um, a story attached to buying them in Berlin because she's German and she always saved up for this particular German brand of earrings and she gave them to me and my sister. She said like this is a really special gift of these earrings that I saved up to buy and you know and finally she passed them on to us and I lost them. I could not find them in my house anywhere. And I was a bit gutted. I know I'd taken them off. They were a bit hard to get in, so they'd floated around and table and in my bedroom and in the bathroom a little while and I'm sure I'd left them on the bottom of the stairs to put back upstairs. Um because I remember bringing them down, putting them on my desk and not being able to get them in. Usually I put things on the bottom of the stairs and then take them upstairs the next time I'm going up there. And they disappeared and I could not find them anywhere. And I searched and I searched and I questioned myself and I questioned the house and I questioned the gods and I said, where? Please bring me these earrings back. It's so... It is really bad that I've lost these precious earrings that my mother gave me. And then this went on for a couple of weeks and 
it occurred to me suddenly that it had been well at least spring since I had honoured the household spirits in my house and I remember the fables that if you anger them they may move things and they may steal things and so it occurred to me that these two things might be connected and so uh, the night before and uh, two nights before these earrings obviously are in my ears now um, I left out a glass of milk and a wine gum by my cooker and it was with a kind of apology that I'd neglected to honour and feed my household spirits and you're absolutely right the next day I opened the door I turned around and on the bottom of the stairs with earrings gl glinting and shining at me now I was gobsmacked and I know because I have bought a new hoover that I have hoovered those stairs at least twice which means that I was about a month um, um, and I have not missed any little bits of those stairs because I got a new hoover so I was trying it out especially really well and I know I did not see them there and then yesterday I turned around and there they were that is the most amount of proof I've ever had of spirit playing jokes on me. And this is a friendly spirit. I've had nasty spirits playing jokes on me. And um, that is, you know, that's another kettle of fish. But this was just a gentle reminder to actually treat my household spirits with a bit of respect and not to neglect them. And I think because I've done that, I've actually got quite a nice energy in that home. Um, and so when I neglected to do it for a little while, whatever my hob is that is in my home came to remind me that maybe I should leave a little offering out. And um, it's true, stolen things turned up again. So. I think that is absolute proof to me that um, yes they do, they, they take things and um, it's just a little reminder to you to uh, have a little bit of respect around them. So if you enjoyed that please give me a like and let me know in the comments whether you've ever, ever had any experiences with Vary or with ghosts or other spirits or whether you think they're all connected. Um, what you actually think a fairy may be and whether it's more useful to define it as a, a house spirit or a goblin or a dwarf or a tree spirit which in my mind I think that using the term fairy it kind of takes us away from the identification process and makes it all into little tinkerbell so um yeah my legs are going numb now so i'm gonna walk home again so thanks for listening and i hope to speak to you all again soon cheers bye